Hey, what is up, everybody? It is Lapidus Cubed here, and we are back for another game dev update. This time, it's not for the other one that I was showing off before. The other one I was showing off before was my zombie shooter called Maggots. This one today is actually called They Whisper Softly to me, and it's my first story-driven horror game. If you follow me on Twitter, uh, you might have seen that I posted a tweet, or tweeted a tweet, posted a tweet, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Uh, I basically said that I had started my first story-driven horror game, and... I was going to be put, putting some updates out, and well, here it is so far. So far, I mean, I have the entire story mapped out. I pretty much know it from beginning to end, for the most part. I know what I'm going to add. I know the background of the character. I know everything like that, but now I just have to make it. I already have kind of the main game mechanics in place, which I will explain to you, and yeah, I already started designing the map a little bit. So I'm going to go into play mode right now, just so you guys can get a better feel. I'm using a lot of standard Unity assets. Um, such as the first person controller, so the walking sound is a bit, you know, subpar, a little shitty. But, uh, and a lot of the models, well actually all of the models are just free assets that I found on the Unity store. It's an amazing resource and I got a lot of great stuff from it. Um, all the textures too I got online for, like, free textures and whatnot. Ooh, look at that. You guys see that? It's a little crooked. The little middle one, I'll have to fix that. Anyway, so... The only thing that I actually designed is I made this apartment in Blender, the actual apartment itself, so... I, I turned off the doors for now, but the doors that'll be in these doorways and kind of the rooms and whatnot, so... What I do want to show off, though, is kind of the layout of the main character's apartment. I, I, I don't think the main character will have a name, he'll just kind of be like an unnamed character, I guess. But, uh... The, the kind of outline of the story is that... Oh, sorry for that beep again. The outline of the story, I really gotta learn to silence my phone, Jesus Christ, Lapidus Cube, come on. So, the story is pretty much this guy, he is terrified of the dark. And whenever he, whenever he goes into the dark, some creepy shit starts happening, he starts seeing some things, he, he starts hearing some things, and that's kind of be, gonna be the, the horror aspect of the game. But, the thing is, is I, I didn't finish putting, uh, modeling the apartment yet, or... Uh, setting it up at least, but he's gonna have like a fuck ton of lamps like everywhere. You could already see he has like a decent amount of lamps and I was just kind of testing out some features with this, but essentially he's gonna have lamps all over his apartment and then the power's gonna go out one night and he's gonna start freaking out and he's gonna find a flashlight, which is the flashlight uh, that he's using right now. And also, I did add a flashlight mechanic where the, and this is kind of getting into the basic mechanic of the game, the flashlight battery drains as time goes on. I could set a timer kind of on the battery and as the battery timer goes down, you might be able to see that the flashlight is getting slowly, slowly weaker as we go on. I think the timer is set for three minutes. So after three minutes, this flashlight will be completely dead. Or uh, as good as dead. So the object of the game is that he's going to leave his apartment. He's going to walk around looking through other apartments. And he's going to try to find batteries to power his flashlight. So you can see this flashlight's already... See, you can even see the little corners, the little edges around the light. It's starting to get dimmer just as it goes. But, uh... Yeah, so that's essentially going to be the game. He's going to be walking around, and he's going to be trying to stay out of the dark, and you could turn on and off the flashlight. That's kind of the only action that you could do in the game, so this is the flashlight off. This is it back on. You see, it's, uh, you have to even get really close to a wall for it to even be anything. The flashlight is on right now, guys, but it's, it's pretty much dead. You see, get a little closer, it's a little better. But, uh, the whole point of the game is you're going to have to figure out and you're going to have to decide when to turn the flashlight off to conserve battery power. And I'll show you guys the script in a second, what I kind of set up, and I'll explain to you how I wrote it, because uh, I designed the little flashlight script myself. Pretty proud of that, especially because I'm relatively new at coding. Uh, yeah, so you see, I turn the flashlight off and it's completely dark, but when I turn it back on, it's still the same brightness as it was before. So you want to turn the flashlight off whenever you can to conserve power. But you're going to have to keep it on. See, look at it. I just turned it on. It's hardly anything now. See, look at Okay, so this is after almost, uh, probably almost three minutes. I'll just restart the game real quick. So you guys saw it was like pitch black. And then if I go back to the same place, look at how much brighter it is. It's so much brighter. So there is a little bit of lighting bug right there. I got to figure out why that's happening. It's only when you look at certain areas. I'm not, not entirely sure why. Anyway, so, yeah, that's pretty much going to be the premise of the game. You could turn on and off the flashlight, and you're going to have to conserve power and find batteries. And if you have, if you force yourself into the dark and you have to go into the dark, you're going to start experiencing the horror aspect of the game. And there are going to be times where you will be in the dark. Also, the reason why I have some lights that are still on, because obviously it's a power out, but, uh, yeah, a power outage. 
It's going to be weird, though, because some of the lights are still going to be working, and our character is not going to have any idea why, and anyone who plays this won't know why either. It won't make sense. But when you're in the light, such as, like, over here, nothing can hurt you. So all the scary music, all the monsters and whatnot that are coming at you, they disappear. They won't hurt you any anymore. You'll be okay. So, uh... Yeah, this is essentially everything that I have set up so far. I'm going to jump into the script real quick so I could show you guys. Just, oops, sorry if you heard that I bumped my mic a little bit. I'm going to jump into the script real quick uh, just so you guys can see how I set it up. So I pretty much set it up where when we start off, right, so the uh, start function, it says is active. That's, that's basically saying if the flashlight is on or off, and it starts on, obviously, at least just for this demo, um, and, and whenever you would find it, I guess. And then for update, so if fire one, that's just the left mouse button, the normal click. So if you do that and it's checking if it is off, right? So if it's off, you would toggle it on, right? So then the flashlight turns on. It says it sets the variable of it being turned on that, and then it plays the flashlight noise. And then the same to toggle it off, just the inverse. And then right here, what I set up is if it's active, right? So if it's if the game detects the flashlight being on, the battery power, which we could set up here, the current battery power. The battery power, right, actually, you know what, I should start it out, you know what, no, I'm not going to start that out, I was going to make it where, uh, I was going to start it where the battery power equals max battery power just in the start function, but I don't want every single battery to be doing that, and I have to make a separate script for the battery, um, and not just the flashlight, I'll figure it out, I'll, I'll figure out some sort of system. Anyway, so if the battery is, or if the flashlight is on, rather, the battery power will drain every second. So minus equals time dot delta time. And then if the battery power is less than zero, it turns off. The, the flashlight just is, is done. And this is a little thing. This is outside of any if statement. It's just in the regular void update. So the flashlight range is actually the thing that's being affected, not the intensity. I might factor in the flashlight intensity to be factored in later on. I guess we'll kind of... I guess we'll kind of see how that goes, but what it basically says is that the battery power, right, is divided by the max battery power divided by max flashlight range, and max flashlight range is the maximum, like, brightness, I guess, and how far the flashlight could uh, could shine, and max battery power is the max amount of time um, that certain battery could charge for you. So you see max battery power right here, I have set to 180 up here, and it's the number of seconds left in a battery charge, and the reason why it's seconds is because it's going down one second because it's minus equals time dot delta time. So, yep, that's uh, that's pretty much everything I got for you guys today. It's just a quick little update. Uh, this development process is going to be awfully slow because, well, I'm a one-man team and I'm not even that experienced, so I'm kind of learning it as I go, and mi like a minimal amount, I actually know what I'm doing before I do it. So a lot of it is just kind of discovery and playing around, but. You know, it's fun. So I guess we'll see where this goes. Uh, I'll do another update on maggots later on. But yeah, this will be another whole separate series. Just they whisper soft to me, uh, the updates in that game. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. It's greatly appreciated. I want you to lather that subscription. That, that, <laughs> dear God. Okay, I want you to labber, la labber, labber. I, I don't know why I can't talk today. My mouth is kind of dry, to be honest. I want you to lather that subscription button in honey god damn it. Okay. Have a good one, guys. It's been great. I'll check you all later.